What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's video I want to talk about challenge mode and what it offers, what it is and what it should have been. Now challenge mode in the eyes of the majority started in a very poor way. It started with Warpriest and the challenge was the same one person cannot hold the aura twice and that's it. A lot of people including me and my team would have done this without even knowing and this in the eyes of the many is the issue here. It ain't really a challenge is it? Me personally I did expect more and that's because we are part of a community who does overhype things but even if this wasn't overhyped you would still expect more for what it is and what we actually got. Us Destiny players running raids, nightfalls and strikes etc etc have come to learn that nothing is guaranteed in this game, well ain't normally. Well if it is, what's needed is the grind or something that's pretty hard to do. Quests for example or the Black Spindle mission. Quests take quite a grind to actually achieve the loot at the end of it as a reward. The Black Spindle mission is another example, although it's straightforward, it's actually really difficult for the casual player. What I'm getting at here is, there are two grinds for loot here in this game. Loot that is based off a RNG and is not a guarantee, and loot which takes either a grind or a decent team so to speak. Now Bungie seems to have introduced a third, and that's the best loot you can obtain being 320 weapons and an artifact for doing something completely straightforward which in my opinion is the main problem here. It's a complete change with the game to what we are used to. We for sure ain't used to getting loot so easy and let's be honest it is really easy. Now me personally I don't think it's the difficulty which is the issue here because I'm sure many people will find challenges that will come with Golgoroth and Oryx way harder even though I feel based on what we've learnt so far with the challenge mode and the Warpriest the challenge mode changes are only slight but Golgoroth and Oryx are a lot harder in general anyway than the Warpriest so I'd expect them to be a lot more of a challenge but like I said in my opinion it ain't really the difficulty which is the issue here it's the lack of change I feel most of us just want new stuff to do and in my opinion challenge mode and what we have learned so far just ain't that but it is early days yet and shit could change for future challenge mode events so what should challenge mode be and this is my opinion well for sure it should not be so straightforward and I don't think the loot that drops should be a guarantee either. The way it is and the reward system in place means people don't have to go back to play it. There is no replay value like we'll get with everything else in the game. Once it's done, it's done. For sure, yes, we should be guaranteed a drop, but should that drop be a guaranteed 2 three, 20 items? I'm not sure, unless this is Bungie's way of prepping us for new DLC. Think of it this way. These challenge mode drops are way off what Bungie normally offers. Maybe it's their plan to get us ready for new DLC where level cap will be raised. Who knows? Only time will tell. But guys, let me know your honest opinion on this matter of challenge mode. Do you think it is straightforward? Do you think the rewards should be what they are? Let me know down below. Also let me know what you think Golgoroth and Oryx will offer. Do you think there will be as straightforward as what Warpriest was in terms of changes made? Or do you think it will be a lot harder? Let me know down below in that comment section. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Do drop a like. I do appreciate the support. Subscribe for Daily Destiny and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out till next time. Peace! We all on YouTube every damn day, watching these vids of the brand new games. Bid after bid, many are the same, that's why you gotta go and find DPJ. Destiny gameplays, weekly snipes, heavy uploads gonna have you a hype. Started in the UK, now he's worldwide. DPJ, go and subscribe.